My name is Joseph Cumming, and I was sexually abused on many occasions by my teacher and mentor, Johannes Samari, beginning when I was 15 years old and continuing until just before my 18th birthday. For 33 years, I thought I was alone. I thought I was the only person who had suffered these things at Horace Mann. I thought I was alone in carrying the shame and pain I felt. In 2011, I discovered for the first time that I was not alone. After talking with another Horace Mann graduate who had also been abused, I began to reach out to others. I have since learned that I was one of many who were abused as children by many teachers at Horace Mann over a period of decades. I have also learned from others that the Horace Mann administration was informed about Samari's abuse of at least one other student several years before he began targeting me. In other words, if the school had taken decisive action many years ago, many of us would never have suffered the abuse we did. I want to say something to anyone who has been abused as we were. You are not alone. We are familiar with the shame, the depression, the struggles with alcohol and substance abuse, the temptations to suicide, the broken relationships, the list goes on. You can find support at HoraceMannSurvivor.org. I want to say something to the Horace Mann Board of Trustees. In June 2012, we presented you with a letter from the Survivors Group in which we set forth what steps we believed were necessary to restore the reputation of our beloved alma mater and to ensure that such things could never again happen at Horace Mann. Chief among these was an independent investigation. An investigation would not only ascertain the extent and level of sexual abuse, but would also communicate to present and future students that if God forbid they should ever suffer abuse, that they could report that abuse with confidence that the school will take them seriously, will investigate their report, and will not bury their story or pressure them into silence. An independent investigation is the path to a healed Horace Mann. Healing for those who suffered the abuse, and for the wider community of alumni, and for the students and parents at Horace Mann today who also deserve to know the truth.